Hey guys and welcome back. This is my Kermis and today I want to show you guys how you can create a fairly realistic looking chain in Maya. So the end result should look something like this picture and uh, let's get started on creating it. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to start off by creating a torus in the uh, polygons menu. So polygons or from this menu, torus. I'm going to drag that out on the grid. We're going to go to the attribute editor. And we're going to change a couple of things here. First, I want to have 51 subdivisions and 51 in height. And then in the uh, section radius, I want to bump that up a little bit, like something like that. Okay. So it looks nice and thick. And now we're going to go to the side view. Actually, uh, top view is fine. And I'm going to right click, go to face mode, and I'm going to drag down and take that selection like that. I'm going to hit W. I'm going to start to drag that out until it looks something like a section of a chain, something like that. If you feel that the size is OK, then it's good for you. OK. Now we're going to go back to the perspective view. And as you know, in a segment of a chain, there's always a little weld here somewhere. So we're going to add that. So we're going to go to Edit Mesh. And we're going to select Insert Edge Loop Tool. And we're going to create one, two, and three. Now, it doesn't matter exactly where you position it, as long as you make sure you've got three of them. Right click, go to edge, select the middle one. Oh, sorry. Go back one step. That's the one. Yep. Hit R to scale it out and just scale it out a little bit like that. So that will look something like your world. And I'll hit five for shaded mode so you can see it a little bit better. Something like that. Okay. Now, this is our first segment of the chain. And now I'm going to right click on that, go to object mode, select the object, hit control D, W to move it out, something like that. And I'm going to hit E to rotate it like that. And let's make sure we're in 90 degrees. All right, like that. And now we're going to duplicate this a couple of times. So I'm going to drag select these two. Control D. Hit W. Move that out. And when you do that, make sure that these are not touching each other. So this one and that one. We're going to do that again. Control D. Drag that out. Something like that. Do it one more time. Control D. Drag that out. I'm going to hit F to zoom in a little bit. So I'm sure that I'm okay in this area here. Okay. Now that's long enough for, for now. Okay. I'm going to drag select the whole thing. And I'm going to pull it out. Now I'm going to create a ground plane. So go to your polygons menu. Select plane. And we're going to make that nice and big. And make sure that your chain is above the plane. That should be OK. And we're going to select the whole chain. Drag select. We're going to group it. Control G. Pull it up a little bit. Hit E. Rotate it a bit down like that. OK. Now, the reason that we're doing that is we're going to add some dynamics to this. Uh, as you saw in the start picture, to get these chain segments to look realistic, how they uh, relate to each other, it's very hard to model that. So what we're going to do is we're just going to add some dynamics to this chain, and we're going to drop it onto the, uh, the plane here. So it will look a bit more realistic. OK. So what we're going to do is we're going to drag select the whole chain, like so. We're going to go to our Dynamics menu. 
and I'm going to go to uh, soft rigid bodies and on the chain I'm going to create an active rigid body okay and in addition while I got the chain selected I'm going to go to fields to gravity and select gravity to give it some gravity to it now for the plane I don't want the chain to go straight through it I'm going to select the plane I'm going to soft rigid body and select create passive rigid body like so now what we're going to do is we're going to add some frames here to the animation part let's do 250 for now so we're actually not creating an animation here we're creating a still picture but we need to use animation to get to that okay so before i'm going to add any materials and lighting to the scene i'm going to uh, activate the animation to get our chain in place. So I'll zoom in a little bit so you can see what's happening. And I'm going to hit play on my animation. And if I did everything correctly, this should start to react like a chain. And as you can see, it is. Okay. And we'll just let it play out and see, you know, how that's looking. It's not too bad. And actually, when you got a position that you think looks okay for your uh, your picture, you can just stop the animation. So we'll just wait a little second here. I'll just uh, let it play out a bit. And I'm going to stop it somewhere around 240, like there okay now if we take a look here you can see that your chain is leaned over here and it's on the plane okay so now what we're going to do is we're going to assign some materials to it but before i do that i'm going to create some lighting so create lights point light and hit w drag that up drag that out a little bit maybe something like that hit control D to duplicate it drag it over here shift select both of them and go to point light shape and actually to point light sorry hang on guys where's I'm looking for a setting and I can't find it What's up here? All right, in the Shadows tab, use Depth Map Shadows. Okay. Now I'm going to right click on my plane, right click on it, assign new material. I'll just use a Fong E, like that. In the color, I'm going to select white, and then I'm going to drag select my chain and shift select the plane so it just got the chain selected right click on that assign new material and i'm going to select mia underscore material x and i'm going to create a chrome material so select the EMEA material tab go to presets chrome and replace all right now that should look okay now we're going to get a nice position for our render uh, something like that i'm going to increase the size of the plane so you don't see the edges okay so like that okay that should be nice now we're going to go to our render settings and because we use the mental ray materials, you have to select the mental ray um, uh, renderer. If you don't, you know, it's going to look funky or you're not going to see anything at all. So select mental ray. Um, you know, there's all sorts of settings here. I would uh, mainly be concerned about the size of the image, and I'm going to do this with 1080. And you can tweak that any way you want. I actually, I'll do 720, so it's not going to take forever. All right, so we've got that all set up. Now we're going to hit render and see what happens. 
Hopefully this is not going to take forever. Actually, I'm going to pause this, guys, uh, until the render is done, and I'll be back with you uh, in a second. All right, guys, this is the end result of the render. Uh, like I said, I didn't tweak all the settings, but this is a, a pretty quick uh, way to create a fairly realistic-looking uh, chain. Hope you like it. Um, if you've got any questions, place it in the comments, and likes and subscriptions are appreciated. Thank you.